Good morning! How is everyone doing today? It's another beautiful day here in the metro. Today's going to be quite exciting because it's been a while since I've been out. I actually have not been out since my quarantine. So technically, this is my first time to go out here in Metro Manila. So obviously, it's required. I'm going to need my face shield. This is the plastic shield and the N95. Come and join me because today will be involving food again. We are going to the supermarket at a place called SNR. So it'll be interesting to see how it's going to be like during this pandemic. So we are all going to keep safe and let's go chow and pick some delicious food to buy. <laughs> Scotty, do you want to go with me to the supermarket? I wish you can go, but they don't allow doggos. So we'll see you in a bit, my little poopy. Mama loves you. Mama loves you, my bunny bear. I call him my bunny bear because check out his tail. It does look like a, a bunny's tail. But you're not a rabbit, are you? You're not a rabbit. So this is probably the last few moments that you'll see me without a mask. So I'm taking quite advantage. It's a bit nerve-wracking as well because my dad just turned 70. Isn't that right, Dada? And obviously, because of the pandemic, um, I'm a little bit concerned that we are going out to public. So I just want to make sure that my dad is safe. Are you safe, Dada? I'm safe. I'm safe. You're taking precautions? Precautions. Always sanitize. Social and distancing. Social distancing. Face mask, face shield. Um, and Washing your hands. And not just that, I've also trained myself because I travel quite a lot. I also train myself, don't touch anything neck and above because I feel like that's that's where it could happen. So yeah, just don't touch your nose, your ears, your eyes. Right, Dad? You have yes. to be all of this. You have really, to be alert all the time. It's really being alert, focused, um, being mindful about all your actions. And so here we are, exciting. We are leaving the gate. <laughs> And I will see you in a while once we get to the supermarket. Also, I have to note that to take extra precaution, to take that extra extra mile of precaution, we are going during opening time. Actually, we're a little bit early. What time does the supermarket open? 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. And right now, it's 9.05. Actually, we're not that early. So... And here it is. You can see the entrance of SNR. It's quite big. And I think this supermarket is designed to be something similar to the ones they have in the States. So, what would you say that this supermarket is similar to? Costco. Yeah, it's similar to Costco. Um, what about Walmart? No. Not really. Walmart. Not really. Maybe. Next to Costco is Walmart. Right, so um, you buy, there are some products here that you can buy by bulk. Um, there are definitely a lot of imported goods. Then would you say that it's like 90% imported? No, 90% 90 local. Okay, I feel like it's imported. I don't know. Yeah, mix, it's a mix. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of imported stuff. So you'll be seeing in a bit what I mean. And here we are in the parking. It looks a bit busy for 9 a.m. But today is uh, today is Sunday and I actually don't think that's a good time to be doing the supermarket. Dad. No wonder it's busy. It's everyone's uh, everyone's not at work and they all have free time. Okay, this is it. Gear up time. Where's my mask? Oh dear. Oh no, where is my plastic shield? I have it in my wrist. Not here, okay. Alright, so it's not the most comfy wearing this, but after traveling more than 24 hours in the UK to Manila, this is nothing for me. So let's go.
So what's interesting is that it's only September right now and look. Here in the Philippines, we love to celebrate Christmas very early. So you can already see a lot of Christmas decorations. One thing I love about the Philippines is that it's only September now and look at all of this Christmas decoration. I even remember when I was traveling in Cebu, it was around May and already they had Christmas trees decorated. So we love to celebrate Christmas here. You can already see the cultural difference between well, when I was in the UK during November, there wasn't any Christmas stuff yet, but look, it's only September. Look at all the Christmas decoration. So I would say for a Sunday, there's quite a lot of people. Um, it's really early, it's opening time, and I can see a lot of customers already. So here's what I was saying, that I feel like a lot of the items here are all imported. So this one's from Malaysia, this one's from the States, and this one's from Vietnam. So I was saying that I feel like 90% of the goods here are imported, but oh, here we are. This is local, but of course, they're garlic um, mix. So this one's from Korea, Korea, safe. Really, I don't know, you tell me, but I do feel like a lot of the goods here are imported. This actually looks interesting. Gorgonzola is one of my favorite cheeses. And yeah, you have that as crisp. Ooh, I love this bit here. This is the Japanese section and the fresh salad section. Ooh, freshly peeled fruits. This is great. Look at that. It's a bit misty, but you have the salmon and tuna sashimi. So check out the prices of the cheeses. This is one thing I miss about Europe. If you look at their cheddar cheese, look at this price. It's 400 pesos. And something like this would probably cost two pounds. So that would be around 80 pesos or about a hundred bucks in the UK. And the prices here are really expensive for cheeses. Have a look at their raclette. This is almost a thousand pesos. So I miss good affordable cheeses in Europe. Look at their Gruyere cheese, this is 700 bucks. Check this out guys, have you ever seen a cake that is so loaded with food coloring? It's very bright. I love this. Holy smokes, this is so psychedelic. I am loving this cake. telling you this place is not short of imported goods. They've got Ben and Jerry. They've got my favorite Craig and Dad. So I really do feel like most of the stuff here are not local. So if you're a 90s kid, then you can definitely relate to Lucky Charms. Look at that. This section essentially sums up my childhood because they've got a lot of the cereal I used to eat tricks and I'm actually looking for Coco Crunch. I can't find the Coco. Oh, there it is, see? So this is what I grew up to. Again, there are no endorsements here. Nothing is sponsored. But yeah, I just want to share with you the stuff I used to eat when I was young. And of course, when you get older, well, for me per se, I do have something a little bit healthier. I have oats and lots of wheat, quinoa, goji berries, things like that. So no more cereal for me because we all know that it's loaded with sugar. <laughs> but they do look so tempting to eat. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so colorful. Anything colorful really catches my eye. And more rainbow cereals. 
Oh my gosh, they're taking chicks to another level. Look at that, it's the Trolls version. Okay, I'm not the best at geography or maps, but have a look at this map. Can anyone tell me what map it is? This is so pun intended. A little butt rub makes everything better. That is such a cute marketing tactic. I love the branding, it's really cute. So you will definitely not find this anywhere else. Crispy bamboos marinated and it's got sili amkan marinade. So oh, yeah, something extremely local. And look, you have another bangus item here. Very local to the Philippines. Check this out. This is something different. I've never seen salted egg meatballs. So it's such a thing here in the Philippines. Even I got into the addiction of salted egg. Check this one out, it's got cheese inside the meatballs. Filipino palate really loves stuff that are so savory, so stuff like this would be such a hit here. I wasn't kidding about the salted egg addiction. Look at this, salted egg custard pao. I actually had one of those in uh, when I was in Hong Kong and it tasted so delicious, but I'm not sure how this is gonna taste when it's all frozen. But yeah, if you're not from the Philippines, I would highly suggest for you to get into the whole salted egg craze. So it's been a while, it's been around here for some while, but I don't think it's going anywhere. The salted egg is pretty delicious, salted egg flavoring at least. So I'm at the crisps section and I'm here to look for some salted egg crisps. Weirdly that they don't have any salted egg crisps, which is very unusual because normally they would always have salted egg potato chips. But right now, I do not see any salted egg flavored crisps. Probably sold out, but hey, check this out. It's mango plus sweet potato and banana. Something healthy. At least it's local as well. So one thing I do when I do shopping in the supermarket or when I buy food in general, I really would like to try to stay as local as possible because number one, obviously, it's healthier for the environment and I do love to support uh, local suppliers as well. Oh, let's keep exploring! I do wish their basil was a little bit fresher. I was hoping to make some pesto, but it looks like it's going a little bit off already. But look at that! For 120 pesos, it's quite a lot. I'm still not really keen on making pesto if the basil isn't this fresh. You know what? For 120 pesos, I'm gonna go and get this even if it's not the freshest. And I'm gonna go and make some pesto. It's a lot healthier than eating junk food. So this is what we have so far. Hi, Dad, are you almost done? Yeah, I don't know, banana. Can you get banana? Okay. Wow, this is so big. Hey, check it out, durian. Very, very local to the Philippines. It's huge. Look at that. Alright, so I'm getting some bananas. I'm having them half because they are so big. And here they are. Thank you. I figured it. Um, it's on a long yeah. Salamat. So the secret to buying bananas is that I get some that are already ripe, and then these ones will take a few days. But also, I noticed that if the kitchen is really warm, these bananas will go really, really ripe in like two days. So if you want to keep them um, unripe, you might want to have your kitchen a little bit cooler. Ooh, look at this other unique looking fruit. What is this? This is called a marang. Wow, check out this marang. I remember having this in Davao. Ooh, and of course, our famous Philippine mango. Yum! Okay, so the junk food here is getting bigger and bigger. Check out this size. It's huge. It's massive. Also, in the UK, they call lace walkers. And here they call it lace. So I don't know if they call it walkers in any other country aside from the UK, but it's that's very interesting. I wonder why they decided to change their branding and not use lace. 
So I am still on this weird hunt for salted egg crisps. I'm just in shock that they don't have any here. But I do remember before I left for the UK, which was like, I don't know, six, five months ago, they had loads of salted egg crisps. But right now, I'm not seeing any. However, I do love cheese it I'm very tempted to buy some. I bought this last time, but the bacon just absolutely overpowered the cheddar. So I might stick with this. However, I could use without the pretzels. Oh no, this is where temptation happens. When you go to the supermarket and you just want to buy loads of stuff that you don't need. Okay, wow. So this one actually looks really good. This is Buddha and she seeds cheese sticks. I'm very, very tempted to get that. Check out this flag. Uh, that flag looks so familiar. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember where this is from. Okay, let's have a look. Ah, I should have known this flag. It's the Netherlands. Oh my gosh, I've been to the Netherlands so many times. I should have known, but this looks so tempting to buy. I am going to resist. Even the cheese is, I'm going to say no. So sometimes the best thing is to just walk away from food that are unnecessary for your body. Let's go check out. We're done with the supermarket. So also here in the Philippines, when we buy our papayas, we want to make sure we get this called the Red Lady. And for some reason, it's so much sweeter than any other papaya. So be sure to get the Red Lady. Here in SNR, they are so popularly known for all their pizza. And in fact, when I searched on YouTube SNR, a lot of the mukbangs or mukbangs came uh, from SNR Pizza or SNR Food Hall. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do a pizza right now. I've had this several times, but if you do want to order pizza, they are huge. So, just a little cuento or story. When there was no COVID, oh my gosh, this place would be filled with all of those tables. This whole place would just be jam-packed with people eating and enjoying their pizzas and food, but obviously it's COVID right now. So, um, that's not gonna happen. We want social distancing. So because my dad is a senior already, we're lining up in the lane for PWDs and for seniors. And so what's really nice here in the Philippines is that um, we have people to help you out at the counter as well. So they'll do all the, um, the cashier work and the packing. And I'm pretty happy that we're using recycled boxes to minimize on plastic waste. Thank you, Ate, for helping. <laughs> sometimes because when we check out they um, they look at the receipt and then they look at the items on your cart so I really wonder if they're able to actually spot what's on the receipt and what's on the shopping cart but yeah there are times when it's very busy and if they do that per cart that leaves the supermarket it can take a while to leave and our shopping cart has a lock so that it doesn't roll over there. Thank you. One thing I do love about SNR or in the Philippines in general, everyone's hospitable. Everyone is so hospitable here and so helpful. The culture of the Filipinos are so, yeah, just very helpful all the time. So you saw the guard helping us take the cart out. So everyone here really is so kind. The Philippine culture is very, very hospitable. Okay, we're done. We're done, everybody. <laughs> so quick.
So I was saying one thing I did miss about the Philippines after traveling for so long is that everyone here is so hospitable and so helpful. And uh, the countertop, they were helping my dad remove the items from the shopping cart onto the counter. And then from the counter, dad, they put it straight into the, the cart. So, so we did line up for a senior lane. So um, if you do line up there, they really will help you. And it's very, very nice. Um, in the UK, you pretty much have to do everything yourself. You pack all your goods, you unload it all, you just do everything. Which is great as well because it teaches you how to be independent and quick and um, efficient. Everyone here is just so nice and so friendly. So that was such a fun supermarket shopping. Thanks for joining. Bye guys. So it's raining right now. That's been such a fun supermarket shopping. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next time. I always love coming home because I like seeing my little doggo. He's always so cute um, saying hi to us. So I don't know if you can see him. He's just there waiting. Hello, puppy. Let's go see how he looks like inside. The rain is pretty strong right now. There he is. 